Hey everybody, I'm Barrett and you're watching Viking McNuggets. It's another beautiful day here in October and we're gonna take a ride down to the beginning of the Walnut Creek Trail and maybe make it all the way downtown. So uh, without further ado, let's get to riding. It's an absolutely beautiful day and I can't wait to get going. So here we go. All right, going down the spiral sidewalk. So we are at Anderson Point Park and um, I didn't even know about this park until I started riding bikes and uh, it's a really nice spot it's a lot of natural areas and gardens and uh, they have some nice fields and picnic shelters it's right off of 264 Although you can't get there from 264, you have to get off at, uh, what's the name of that road? Can't remember now. Oh yeah, New Hope Road, you get on, <coughs> off the Beltline, you would get on 264 and then get on, you immediately exit at New Hope Road. Put in your GPS, it'll take you. So we're going to exit Anderson Point Park and we're going to be on the Noose River Trail for a minute and then we're going to get onto Walnut Creek Trail. Hey, how's it going? Good. That's a pretty pup. Oh, there's a sock. Anybody leaves a sock? So this, this section of the Greenway was closed for a while at Pool Road because they were working on the, um, I think the flooding, put in some new pipes or something to that effect. I'm not sure exactly. But it cut off a big portion of the Greenway unless you wanted to ride on busy two-lane road which is really scary for me. I did it once and I haven't done it twice. But it's open now and uh, all is well. But I think it's like a Maybe a mile or two to the entrance of Walnut Creek Trail, or the beginning of it, I should say. The trailhead. I'm excited to be making videos again. I took uh, about six weeks off, apparently went by really fast <laughs> but uh, I was training on the bike trying to lose some weight and I was also doing a charity ride for kids cancer so I did 620 miles in the month of September and uh, really surprised myself because I wasn't riding at all for years until until July it had been about three years since I rode a bike probably like a McNugget hey and this is one of the bigger hills on the Noose River Trail 
whenever it gets away from the river itself, it kind of, you have to go up the hill because you know, the river is always at the bottom. But apparently this house did not want the trail in the back, so they made it go in the front. But we need a hill every once in a while. Keep us honest. Hey, that thing's struggling, ain't it? You're good. I can't go but so fast up this hill. <laughs> hey, I like your helmet. Hey, man. Why are you You're on YouTube. But now we get to go down the hill and do the fun part. probably going about 20 miles an hour I guess I don't have my computer on because it rattles and I don't want to hear it on the vitrio but it's probably about as fast as you want to go on the greenway just to be nice unless there's no people around obviously but it's fun going fast, and you can do that on the greenway when it's not crowded. That's kind of a big point. When it's crowded, you gotta be more careful. Some people don't really understand that. So here's the part where it was closed. Looks like they might be rebuilding the, rebuilding the bridge or something eventually. But a lot of construction going on right there. And next stop will be Pool Road or uh, Walnut Creek. Wow. Misguided youth. That's all I can say about that. Walking around smoking weed on the greenway. Like, I guess they're trying to be cool. Coming up behind you guys. Your mom probably won't let them in her house. Your mom won't let them smoke weed in the house, so they gotta go to the greenway to smoke weed. put tattoos on their face so when they get to prison they'll fit right in howdy people taking pictures of people taking pictures I was wondering what she was doing I thought she was throwing up <laughs> she was just taking a picture of the sign See, this is the nine and a half mile marker on the Noose River Trail. You know what? I just passed where we were supposed to turn. I got so caught up in what I was doing, I missed the turn. Like a big dummy. Hey, there's my big dummy moment of the of the uh, vitrio. Unless I fall over like I did a 
few a couple weeks ago. My foot got stuck in the pedal, came to a complete stop, and toppled over. It's pretty darn funny when you see it happen. It was even funny when it happened to me. Luckily, there's only like three people there. Hey. All right, nine and a half mile marker, <laughs> New River Trail. Look, kids, Big Ben, Parliament. It's fall and the leaves are on the ground. Here we are. Walnut Creek Trail head. My gears are being weird. I don't like it. Oop, I think we got it now. Gotta dial it in a little bit. Just put a, a different wheel on so my gears were a little bit off. And a new chain. But she's riding like a dream otherwise. And what I had done, I just overcorrected a little bit on my my little uh, gear tuner. So now this trail follows Crabtree Creek, which goes all the way through Raleigh. And uh, I believe that's the same creek from Crabtree Valley Mall. It would make sense, wouldn't it? Tasty water. All right. Hopefully, we see some wildlife today, not just. Uh, Aborigine, Aborigine smoking weed. Oh, it's a swamp over here. So this trail goes up by like Walnut Creek Amphitheater. It also goes through Worthdale. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I swallowed a bug. Goes through Worthdale neighborhood and Worthdale Park. And this is the three quarter mile marker back there. So in my last video, we rode a short portion of this trail before we deviated. The trail actually deviated, we kept going straight. So, it wasn't my fault. But, we're going to ride up to at least to the um, wetland center where we started 
last video, which for me was yesterday. <laughs> I'm not sure about when it gets on to YouTube. And this is the one mile marker. This trail is pretty cool. It winds through like neighborhoods and around the swampy area. And then like, unfortunately you have to go through the neighborhood, but there's a little more undulation, I think. And a lot more bridges so far. like some townhomes on the right can't really see them but. and the left is all flood plain which most of the greenway is on Like some big old rocks here. Pretty cool looking. It's like they were quarried or something and dumped right there, maybe. Or else they when they cleared the land, then maybe they pushed them up. But there are some big ones. It's nice to get out and ride. Yeah, unfamiliar place. I've only gone this way a couple times, probably. And uh, keeps it fresh. Doing the same route every day can get boring or monotonous. Maybe not boring so much, but monotonous. It's a better word. Monotonous. about 82 degrees today it's absolutely beautiful I was sitting in the house and uh, the sun was shining and I just couldn't help but to get out and ride the bike State Fair starts started today. Can't really take you there, unfortunately, but maybe we'll ride by there in next week or so. I'm contemplating going, maybe uh, do a video for my Fruit Loop Films channel on YouTube.
have time when we get to the wetland center I want to uh, jump on the Rocky Branch Trail and maybe ride downtown and we'll end there make it interesting hopefully we'll have time I think we will Here's one of the neighborhoods you ride through. for a sign the name of this neighborhood but I don't see one let's see this is Ridgebrook Lane and our right is Bluff Bluffs View Drive Raleigh is really sprawled, sprawled out. <laughs> I've lived here my whole life. And uh, there's places like, you know, I've never even seen, but of course they haven't been here the whole time. But stuff pops up all over the place. If you need, like want to buy a new apartment or move into an apartment, this is the place to be. There's more apartments than you can shake a stick at. Well, this is like some brand new asphalt here. It's really nice, smooth. My legs haven't quite warmed up yet. I'm feeling a little bit of lactic acid. Probably just because we were going uphill. We're at the three mile marker. of a barren stretch of the greenway not a whole lot going on over here this is the kind of spot you would see some good wildlife though at sundown saw some wild turkeys out here well on the noose river trail last week that was kind of cool i guess that was about four days ago maybe always see deer and Tons of rabbits, squirrels. So we must be under a road right now. I don't know what road it is. Sounds like a lot of cars. It's a big road. Might be the belt line. Yeah, I think it's the belt line, maybe.
right, it's three and a half mile marker. And we are at the parking lot for Walnut Creek Amphitheater. This is the softball complex. So the amphitheater, I think, is on the other side of the belt line where that bridge was back there. It's been so long since I've been to that amphitheater. It's just too expensive for me now. I can't even afford the tickets, much less the outrageous parking and beverage costs. Heaven forbid you want to buy a shirt. Your favorite band shirt. Sunnybrook Road. You can get to Sunnybrook Road off of Pool Road. Oh, I left my cone. We are at the four mile marker. I believe the wetland center is about six, six and a half miles. I feel like there's a lot of hills this way where bumps they're hills for big people like myself. They're bumps for normal people. And we're pulling into Worthdale Park. There's some birds going crazy over here. And my gears too. I don't have a lot of juice in my legs today. Maybe it's just because we've been going uphill gradually for a while. This is Worthdale neighborhood. So we just go straight down the street and meet the trail at the other end of it. It was a little confusing at first, but once I learned it, ah, I had to completely stop.
ايه اه I'm gonna go uphill in a headwind some water Cutting McNuggets. Hey. This is coming up on one of my favorite spots of the Greenway. another road that I, I've never seen before in Raleigh. I have no idea how to get here. <laughs> I need to get in the car and explore a little bit. But this part of the trail is pretty neat. Reminds me of the beach. A little like the boardwalk of sorts. Just cut the grass too. I bet it gets muddy here when it floods. Oh, there was it. <laughs> that was it. And that's the only part of the greenway that's like that that I know of, probably. Oh gosh, hit a big bump. Nation Road, I believe. Now we're back on the creek. Should be a little flatter. The uh, hillier parts is when you get away from the creek and everything is uphill from the creek. So. grass is nicely cut
Haven't seen any wildlife today. I think the animals on the Noose River Trail have just gotten so used to seeing people like they don't, the deer don't even run. They just watch you go by. The rabbits still run. <laughs> Some most of the time, not always. Squirrels run in front of you. My nose always runs when I get to exercising. I'm sure there's something to that, but I'm not sure what it is. It's not just me. It's jungly back here. I wouldn't suggest riding this trail if it's raining because bridges get wet and really slip, slippery and like that one spot with the little boardwalk will get muddy and flooded probably. But that's just me. We have to be getting pretty close now. I haven't seen a mile marker for a minute <clears throat> since like four and a half or something. This is Rock Quarry Road. In the dark, in the dark. Here's the other side of Rock Quarry Road. <laughs> the bridge there. Nobody's been through there in a minute. Or maybe they have. Coming up behind you on your left. What's happening? This is the y YMCA school. Is it a YMCA, oh god, it's big ass bird, birds. <laughs> Go on. All right, some buzzards. Hey, wildlife. They're out here in case I pass out. They can nibble at my eyeballs. I know how they think. I think I got my protective glasses on.
think this is the home stretch before we get to the wetland center and the beginning of the Rocky Branch Trail. There was a little headwind coming through this tunnel. Now my bike's making noises. I don't like that. I don't like it. All right. It's like we need to go left. Right here. Oh god, that is a sketchy spot. Probably want to yell corner around that. In case you somebody else is coming, you probably run right into them. All right, if you take a left here, it's the Walnut Creek Trail and you can go all the way to Johnson, uh, Lake Johnson Park. And you can also get on the, what's the other trail? I can't remember the name of it. But that trail goes all the way to the art museum and beyond to Walnut, I guess. To, all the way to uh, Umstead Park now to the Reedy Creek Trail it meets up with it somehow or another so anyway it goes past the art museum I guess if you're gonna ride to the fair you can ride that way it's probably not a good idea though because you have to be going during the day you don't want to ride back at night on the Greenway So now we're on the Rocky Branch Trail. And I don't think we have a whole lot of time, maybe about 10 more minutes. Perhaps more. Hey, hey. But if we take this, I think this is a pretty short trail. So we might be able to get downtown. This trail goes right by New Travis Park. It's been renovated. <coughs> and it's really nice. I have a vlog going through there from a previous ride if you want to see that but we're about to see it for ourselves now hopefully as long as we can I see the batteries on yellow I do have an extra battery though so maybe we can do what we want as long as it don't overheat and it's not terribly hot and we've been moving the whole time so
probably be all right. I'll take a right here. It's a dead end to the left. And my gears are not shifting good. Shifting well, I should say. They're not shifting good or well. All right, this is the back side of Chavis Park. the hills all right here we are Chavis Park I haven't seen this sign before. Hey. So this is one of Raleigh's newest parks. Well, oldest parks, redone, renovated. <laughs> Building's really cool. Lots of curves. And then you got the water fountain. Looks like the carousel is still closed. There's no point in checking that out, I suppose. That's Chavis Park. Here's a shot of the playground. They have like a, what do you call that, a zip line? This is the old carousel building, which is very familiar. It's just like the one at Pullen Park. 
well, smaller version, but same style. there mile marker one on the rocky uh, little little rock this is one spot you do not want to go off the red edge on your bike it would be disastrous. Oh, they're going to dog on gears again. I guess I've just been riding on the biggest gear, and that's the one that keeps messing up. All these hills, though. And when you're not going fast, you don't have a lot of momentum to get up them. So I'm starting from, like, really slow speed to begin with. If that makes any sense. Everything feels like it's uphill today. Maybe the way back will be easy. This little area is called Chavis Way. This is John Winters Park. I'm going to take a left though and go downtown for a second. Hey. No stop sign. I thought there was a stop sign there. We're on Martin Street at the corner of Bloodworth Street. Hopefully we can get up here to Moore Square and then I'll say goodbye to you all.
big dummy. That's how you get killed on a scooter. Go through the red light on your scooter and see how long. Stay alive doing that. We're gonna walk across here. Fucking thing. My pedals give me issues. Got a stage set up. No worries. I you getting ready for the weekend. Jazz in the square this weekend, apparently. All right. Hey, really enjoyed the ride, you guys. I hope that uh, you all did too. Come check out more square. They're having jazz music this weekend. That would be October 15th. If it's uh, Saturday, maybe the 16th. I don't know. You have to look up. God, I have no information. I try to give you like information and then be like, oh, I guess it's right. But I don't want to steer you in the wrong way. So I'm not going to say something certain unless I know. And. A lot of things aren't certain so <laughs> I'm gonna stop rambling and tell you guys goodbye and remember walking is for the birds so get out there and ride your bike especially with this beautiful weather so until next time peace